A few thoughts now on just how much corruption should a great constitutional republic and beacon of liberty to the world stand for? And why is the Democratic Party tolerating such conduct from its presidential nominee? The Associated Press today reported that more than half of the meetings that then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton took with people outside the government were with donors to the Clinton Foundation. More than half. Is there any clear evidence of pay to play or plain disregard for the standards of conduct while in an office of public trust, a high office? It's pretty clear to most of us that the Clintons just plain don't give a damn about standards, about the law, regulations, or even appearances. At least 85 of the 154 people Clinton met with were donors to the Clinton Foundation contributing. Are you ready? Contributing this modest sum, $156 million. At least 20 of them donated more than a million dollars each. And that doesn't include foreign donors, foreign governments, foreign leaders, foreign interests. Clinton met with representatives of at least 16 foreign governments that donated up to $170 million. It is no wonder Mrs. Clinton hasn't held a press conference in 263 days. Even the liberal national media might have to ask a question or two about her extraordinary conflicts of interest, conflicts of interest that Mrs. Clinton did seemingly nothing to avoid, but undertook extraordinary measures to conceal from the public. This latest bombshell from the Associated Press follows a report that a top executive at the Clinton Foundation left nearly 150 telephone messages for Clinton's top aide at the State Department, Cheryl Mills, over a two-year period. Those messages for Mills came from Laura Graham, the chief operating officer of the Clinton Foundation during that period, who even referred to Clinton as, quote, our boss in one message. Mills, along with Huma Abedin, already under fire after emails exchanged with other foundation officials, revealed donors being given special access to Secretary of State Clinton. And don't forget Mills traveled to New York while working for the State Department to interview candidates for a job at the foundation. Yes, she was on the State Department payroll. The Clinton Foundation claims, however, it will stop accepting donations from corporations and foreign governments if Mrs. Clinton wins in November. Now that's awfully big of them, but really beside the point. The Clinton cartel controls far too much of our federal government to leave it up to them which laws, which standards they will be so kind as to follow and to meet. American voters will hold her accountable in my view, even if the Democratic Party will not, even if the Obama administration won't, even if the left-wing national media will not. I truly believe the American people face now with the irrefutable and mounting evidence of the scale and the dimension of the Clinton cartel's corruption and hold on many of our public officials, they will now reject Hillary Clinton as their choice for president. Any other decision, any other outcome would mean, in my opinion, the end of decency and integrity in public service and the end of our way of life.